my dear students i am i was working in brc mysore and now currently retired and currently now i am in ishre mysore chapter as president elect my role was that i was maintaining minus 80 degree centigrade chillers and uh, air conditioning refrigeration uh, i was in charge of chilling plant erection commissioning and all so i have a lot of 35 years of 35 years of experience now i want to share with you what all i have learnt and i want to bring it to you so that you people can really enjoy and enjoy the refrigeration air conditioning now i'll start the ppt so we all know that we all know that our grandma used to keep water in a pot but that water was getting very cold so how it was happening similarly when we were young uh, mom grandma used to put a thin cloth wet cloth on the windows those windows uh, after that we used to get chilled air cold air so how these things are happening see again she used to keep all the vegetables uh, vegetables in a wet cloth and keep it for 2 3 days nothing used to happen these things how it was happening all these was happening because they because of the water evaporating and it is cooling the cooling the media similarly refrigeration started based on this see now we to know that basic how water evaporates we will see water water will evaporate only when there is less humidity now we have two temperature measures one is dry bulb temperature or second one is wet bulb temperature the dry bulb temperature is the one which gives you directly the temperature what is in the atmosphere whereas in wet bulb temperature we put a wet cloth on the thermometer and that water starts evaporating and it cools the uh, thermometer stem and temperature drops this is the basic of refrigeration and air conditioning see where the humidity is less the performance of air conditioners will be good this this gave a very good example and refrigeration air conditioning started based on this small tips now we all know that father of air conditioner mr william carrier he, he invented a small refrigeration air conditioning equipment what is meant by refrigeration see refrigeration is a process of rejecting heat from a substance from a substance and rejecting it to atmosphere which it at higher temperature so now you take this room itself this room will be at 35 degree or 34 degree centigrade whereas outside also will be at little more higher than this so we all know in thermodynamics thermodynamic basic thermodynamics energy can be neither created nor destroyed similarly energy will travel from higher temperature to sorry temperature will uh, temperature will tra tra travel from higher temperature to lower temperature so now we are pumping it to the outside where it is hotter how it can be done for that to do that we have to do some work that work is been given by a given by a compressor power which we give from electrical power and compressor runs to achieve this some mechanical that's the to achieve this some mechanical work has to be done the latent heat of vaporization of the refrigerant is used to achieve the cooling see why i told you initially that water evaporates when it evaporates it takes heat from the surrounding similarly any refrigerant when it when it evaporates it takes heat from the surrounding and it gives a it takes the heat out and it cools the air we can see that when whenever we mop when water is spilled on the floor we mop it when we mop it you please touch that and see you will feel that the temperature is lower than the what is there outside that what happens the whatever water evaporates it takes heat from the first floor from the floor and it cools that same same way so refrigerant so we we found like water there are other um, uh, refrigerants like natural refrigerants ammonia carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide all these are all uh, all are refrigerants which will boil at ambient temperature so we found out then that uh, after that we found out some of the cfc gases which i later cover we can achieve very low temperature by using hcfc gases this hydrofluoro hydrochlorofluorocarbon 
now air conditioning what is the difference between refrigeration and air conditioning refrigeration is only removing the removal of heat from one space to other throwing out to the outside whereas in air conditioning we have to maintain see there are some five specific conditions like see temperature it should be 24 plus or minus 1 relative humidity 60 plus or minus 5% then low dense dust value then low noise level air velocity should be less than 500 fpm that is feet per minute so what happens is in a, in an air conditioning room if the humidity increases you will feel like you will feel like sweating so to remove to have a comfortable space comfortable condition we should control the humidity this is different from your refrigeration in refrigeration our boss, our point was only to cool the material or place whereas here we are controlling the temperature as well as humidity now process of air, see mechanical refrigeration is made possible by practical application of physical law that boiling point of a liquid that is refrigerant or condensing temperature of a gas can be varied at will by varying the pressure of the vapor in an enclosed space this is uh, this is very simple thing see we will find a refrigerant which will boil at up atmospheric pressure atmospheric temperature so again to condense it we have to increase the pressure and bring down the temperature of that for a condensing temperature that is the basic of this see liquid refrigerant temperature of gas can be varied at will by varying the pressure of the vapor in an enclosed space in a compressor we try to increase the pressure so that it will condense at atmospheric temperature similarly in evaporator we bring down the pressure so that it will boil it will boil and it will take the heat from the surrounding so these two laws these two uh, say po these two points of an uh, temper of an uh, refrigerant is used for this uh, cooling the air in the evaporator where the heat from the substance to be cooled is removed by bringing down the temperature bringing down the pressure of the refrigerant by which it boils and takes heat from surroundings and it becomes vapor similarly the la this latent heat property of the refrigerant is utilized in removing the heat from the substance the air conditioning again is divided into two it is called comfort air conditioning and industrial air conditioning see in con comfort air conditioning what we do is we try to maintain all those parameters like temperature humidity air velocity sound and air purity all these five points we try to maintain whereas in industrial refrigeration it need not be that we have to keep all those things some in industries some places they require very low temperature to maintain some of their process for that we try to give only we'll try to control the we will control the temperature whereas we don't bother about the humidity etc see the controlled atmosphere which gives maximum comfort to human being is known as comfort air conditioning so the the, the for those five points are the comfort air uh, comfort conditions similarly in controlled atmosphere which is required for manufacturing process and industrial goods are known as industrial air conditioning in some of the places the humidity matters much they want 40% 30% humidity so at that time we will go for a condition where we will try to remove the water content from the moisture air so that your moisture content will be less and humidity also will try to drop the comfort air conditioning further subdivided into summer air conditioning uh, where the air in the enclosed area is cooled and dehumidified in places like mumbai seashore mumbai mangalore chennai and all humidity will be more what is meant by humidity humidity is that it is <coughs> it is nothing but the content of moisture in the air see air air tries to capture air tries to take moisture from the surroundings it to it becomes saturated when it saturates we tell it we call it as 100% saturation whereas in the coastal area where the sea coast is there where sea is there water tries to take oh sorry uh, water air tries to take water from the uh, sea so that 
the humidity is to go on rising it may not saturate when saturation takes place only when it is raining whereas in winter in a coastal area you will have a humidity of 90% percent we call it at relative humidity that is relative humidity is nothing but the humidity which is humidity at the air and to ratio of the humidity of the air at present condition to the humidity of air at 100% saturation that's why it comes in percentage so in sea shore it will be 85 to 90% where we have to reduce the humidity uh, percent uh, humidity by bringing down from 90% to 60% there we have to air condition has to work more to remove the humidity from the water moisture content from the air in the uh, in the closed area whereas in winter air conditioning the air is heated and dehumidified to keep the temperature and humidity in the comfort zone so in winter what happens in winter what happens if in places like delhi uh, north india Ka kashmir and all what happens is the humidity falls very low it comes to around 10 to 15% in winter at that time what happens our body tries to give out moisture from because air tries to suck where from wherever it gets water it tries to take so what what happens is from our body it tries to take that's why we feel all our lips and all get cut and bleeding so many things will be happening so at in those places we try to humidify it how we will do humidification we will add water to the air when the uh, we will have steam we generate steam and steam is injected into the into the room so that your humidity can be increased and you will feel comfortable so in winter winter conditions we will try to heat it again temperature also will be very less so we want warm here we have we want to bring it down to 24 degree centigrade from uh, say 5 plus 5 or 0 degree centigrade in some places go to below 0 degree also so we heat there heat the air and we will humidify the condition in the we will try to humidify by adding steam or water content in that see now every refrigerator refrigeration has got a new unit see any equipment when you say like so ups when you take we'll tell what is the aeh similarly when you buy a air conditioner we'll have to have some standard uh, standard to know what is the uh, to get it like how many tons 1 ton 2 ton now window air conditioners are available 1 ton 1.5 ton 2 ton and at the max 2.5 tons so this ton, the, so what is a ton of refrigeration it's it's nothing but when you keep 1 ton of ice in a room enclosed area where temperature has to be maintained at 0 degree centigrade leave it for 24 hours it should convert to water so the amount of heat required to melt an ice one ton of ice at 20 at in 24 hours at 0 degree centigrade that much is called one ton of refrigeration this is the unit which we follow in air conditioning and refrigeration See, uh, see the it is the amount of heat required to melt one ton of ice at zero degrees centigrade in 24 hours. In FES system, one ton is 200 2000 lb pounds. The, yeah, all air conditioners, I mean, uh, is specified in British unit only BTU. Nowadays, uh, they have come out to kilowatts SI systems. So, in FES system, one ton is one ton of ice is equal to 2000 pounds. So, latent heat of ice is 144 BTU per LB. This is British thermal unit. So BTU means 144 BTU. So 2000 into one to, to melt that 2000 LB it into 144 uh, is the heat BTU required. So 2000 into 144 that becomes 28 2 lakh 88 thousand BTU per day. So that 2 lakh 88 thousand to 88,000 divided by 24 becomes 12,000 BTU per hour. So one ton of refrigeration is that it is the amount of heat it has to remove from a place is 12,000 BTU per hour in one hour. In one, one hour it should remove 12,000 BTU. In MKI system again one ton is 907 kg. Latent heat of ice is 80 kilocalories per kg. So 907 into 80 becomes 72,560 kilocalories per day. 
divided by 24 it gives 3023 kilocalories per hour this is this is in mk system now again now in si system it is nothing but 3.5 kilowatt so in 12000 btu or 3050 kilocalories per hour 3.5 kilowatt all are in heat units and this is all the it, this is per this is the unit for 1 ton it is amount of heat which it removes is called 1 ton of refrigeration so to know that some of the basic like specific heat it is what is meant by specific heat to calculate all the, any load we have to know all these basic basis so for this it it is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of unit mass of a substance through unit degree centigrade so this is specific heat then density so why i am telling about density is density is required while calculating the heat load of an place so when you try to calculate heat load we will take mass mass nothing but it is density so density is defined as mass per unit volume that is unit is kg per cubic meter specific volume is the volume occupied by unit mass it is reverse of density it is nothing but reciprocal of density it is cubic meter per kg specific gravity is the ratio of the density of the material to the density of water so now we all know that oil oil which is lighter that is having 0.84 or 0.87 uh, density whereas water we take it as 1 so to know the specific gravity it is nothing but the density of a liquid to the density of a water is is called specific gravity so now i told you to calculate a load what all is required so why i gave those all the thing all those basic thing is to know here see if you want to calculate a load in a room how much ton is required so there it's a simple formula q is the heat mass m is the mass s is the specific the specific heat of the material delta t is the temperature difference between outside and inside so where q is the heat in the room so this much heat it has to remove if i want to know the uh, heat in this room i have to take the volume of this room so many cubic meter of air is available here so so cubic meter the density comes there because 1 cubic kg per meter cube so you will have so many meter cube of air here to convert it to mass i will have to multiply it by density so it becomes mass of the air inside the room we know that the room volume multiply volume with density of air we will get the mass of air similarly delta t is your required temperature is in the room you may set at 22 24 25 <coughs> outside is 35 so <coughs> sorry the uh, difference between 35 and 24 or 25 is 10 degrees that is the delta t now i will tell you um, how refrigerator works i will be before that i will just give a small ah uh, this is the thing uh, general application of an how an air conditioner refrigeration works this is an p and i diagram here see this is compressor this is the so this is this is the compressor where whatever vapor comes from here it will be at a warm vapor at low pressure comes here and we compress it why you want to compress it if you compress the gas from say some uh, 15 psi to 225 psi we require something called a some machine that is called compressor because why i want 225 is at 225 psi only here at that pressure with ambient condensation it becomes it becomes liquid by condensing this is here it's a fan will be there this hot air will be thrown on this and there will be coil and this gets what happened this here i, I told i put dotted here because all these are in dotted all vapor this slowly becomes liquid and it becomes full liquid so this hot liquid say at 100 degree fahrenheit and at a pressure of 225 psi it comes to an expansion wall here i initially itself i told you <coughs> to we have we control pressure and temperature to become state to change the state of a gas here this this is called expansion wall see this expansion wall purpose of expansion it is it will reduce the pressure pressure 
from 225 psi to 70 psi it has small orifice this high pressure gas comes through the orifice when it comes through the orifice because of joule thomson effect it's become it starts evaporating and it it pressure drops to 70 psi and temperature also comes down to 40 degree f from 110 degree 110 degree f to 40 degree f this low pressure gas goes here liquid come gas it comes here it what happens is in the room see where your evaporator is there in this room it gets again vapor it 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 starts become boiling and at, when it start boiling it takes heat from this room air room air and it becomes vapor and comes back to compressor so basic these four components are there in any refrigeration or in an air conditioner this is called vapor compression cycle see if you represent this in your pv diagram see here this is the compression see from here the whatever gas comes here i showed you last time it comes here it gets compressed it goes to this pressure see this is the pressure so if you if you uh, like if you take this line here it will be 225 psi so at that condition this will start condensing so it will be at condensing at constant pressure and constant temperature this is this is the temperature line here this is will be at ambient say around 40 degree centigrade this is the temperature and this will be at 225 psi and it start condensing and it becomes liquid so when it becomes liquid it, it becomes liquid pressure also will be constant there and again through expansion valve suddenly we expand it so pressure drops from 225 psi to 70 psi here in evaporator this in evaporator this gas starts boiling and it takes heat from the surrounding and it cools this area so again it becomes vapor and goes to compressor so in an refrigerator we refrigerator air conditioning we will be charging only around 60 to 70 grams maximum of 200 grams of gas that gas goes on rot circulating inside by converting its phase and it is cooling your room these are the again p p diagram so this is i'll move further so now see see refrigerator air conditioning i told you initially itself see work input see here this is the low temperature reservoir this is nothing but our room from here heat is absorbed and we are putting work input that is compressor uh, we put electrical power and compress it and heat is rejected to the hot wire hot reservoir so i this just then i explain to you this is the each part take this is compressor condenser expansion and evaporator here see what is the function of evaporator low pressure liquid refrigerant in the evaporator absorbs heat and changes to gas it is happening in this point in this so next is compressor this evapor evaporated gas this uh, whatever hot gas which becomes superheated comes to this compressor and gets compressed and again goes this is this is high pressure side this is low pressure side so it gets compressed pressure increases and goes to condenser see the superheated vapor enters the compressor where it is pressure is increased by compression the condenser function is the high pressure superheated gas is cooled in several stages in the condenser the condenser may be air cooled condenser water cooled condenser depending on the application we can use this and we will condense the ga gas to liquid and that liquid comes to expansion valve this is the expansion device this is expansion valve here again pressure drops pressure drops here and it becomes uh, the, at this pressure it starts boiling and it takes heat from the location 